Hello there, Chris Benson's here with part two of my Give Us A Clue DVD review. Uh, of course, it's been released by Network DVD. Part one covered discs one to six, and there was just one episode missing in part one, and that was a Dave Lee Travis episode from the 10th of December 1979. So we'll go straight into it. Discs seven to 13 to cover. Uh, so disc seven starts with series four, the beginning of series four. If you remember at the end of Disc six, we had the Royal Wedding special, 1981. So in terms of timeline, that's where we're up to. So series four had 21 episodes running through from the 1st of September, 1981 to the 18th of May, 1982. So it's quite a long series. Um, and there's episodes from series four and disc seven from the 8th of September, 1981 to the 10th of November, 1981. So the 1st of September, 1981 episode is missing. And that featured Rolf Harris. The 20th of October, uh, when you look at the discs, if you buy them or if you see the episodes on uh, Amazon Prime where they're available to buy, there's no episode and um, it takes a bit of wondering why there's no episode. Well, according to TVRDB, there was freestyle dancing on that night. And then the week after, on the 27th of October, uh, there was Britain's Strongest Man. So there you go. They had a bit of a break on the 27th of October as well. So there you go. Yeah, When, you, when there's no episodes on, it's even worse because you think, what was going on? But it was a long run, wasn't it, Series 4? So there we go. Second episode was missing there on the 1st of September. Disc 8, um, Series 4 continues another eight episodes running from the 17th of November 1981 to the 13th of April 1982. No gaps. Disc 9, 20th of April 1982 to the 18th of May 1982. So we reached the end of Series 4. No further gaps. The final four episodes of Series 4. Then we've got um, the 7th of September 1982 to the 5th of October 1982. Uh, so that's the start of Series 5, and we've got one gap there. The episode from the 21st of September 1982 is the third episode to be missed, and that features Rolf Harris again. Disc 10. 15 episodes there were in Series 5. Uh, so Disc 10 features episode. Well, sorry, Series 5 had episodes running from the 12th of October 1982 to the 6th of September 1983. Um, so the episodes um, we've got uh, on this disc, we've got the 12th of October 82, the 19th of October 1982, the 26th of October 82, the 2nd of November 82. Then the 9th of November 82 episode is the fourth episode missing on this box set. It features Freddie Starr and uh, it, as I say, we don't see this one. But then the fifth episode that we do get on this disc is from the 16th of November. We do get the episode from the 23rd of November. And then there's another gap on the 30th of November, 1982. That features Rolf Harris. So that's the fifth episode that's missing on this box set. Um, then the episodes that we get on the box, on the DVD, uh, disc 10, 21st of December, 1982, we get uh, and the 6th of September 1983, which is the first episode of the start of series six. Um, there is another one that we don't get. The sixth episode that is missing was from uh, the 26th of December 1982, uh, and it featured Freddie Starr again. Uh, it was shown at 5.30, if you're interested, before the premiere of Moonraker. There you go. That would have been a great night's tally, wouldn't it? Um, so on to disc 11, we continue series six, um, and there was 20 episodes in series six. Um, so we've got episodes here on this disc from the 13th of September 1983 to the 8th of November 1983. Um, there was an episode when you look through the listings and you do your detective work, there was an episode on the 11th of October 83, but my only guess is it was a repeat. And my, my guess is kind of backed up by the, the fact that later on in 1984, there's a lot of repeats to kind of pan out the run even further. So I think 11th of October 83 was a repeat, if people only wondering why there was a gap that week. Um, disc 12, we have episodes from the 15th of November 1983 to the 13th of March 1984. I can't be sure, but the 22nd of November 1983 looks like a repeat as well to pad out this run of episodes even further. That's how popular Gives a Clue was. Disc 13, um, we've only got two episodes on that disc. Um, we've got the 27th of March, 1984, and the 17th of April, 1984. Um, so, well, we've got, it looks like the 20th, 20th of March, 84, was a repeat, for example. 
Um, the 3rd of April, uh, 1984, TVRDB says it was a repeat. That was a repeat of a 19th of October, 82 episode with uh, Jeffrey Holland and Simon Cadell. Um, 8th of May and 15th of May were repeats. Um, so there was, as I say, a lot of repeats during series six to, to pan out. But we do get, a, there is another missing episode, a seventh missing episode. 10th of April, 1984, had Freddie Starr again. So uh, to summarise, um, we get 98 out of 105 of the Michael Aspel episodes in this box set. Um, series one is complete, 13 episodes. Series two, there were 16 episodes, one missing. Series three, 20 episodes in a special, it's all there. Series four, 21 episodes, one missing. Series five is more effective. That had 15 episodes and four are missing. And series six, 20 episodes and one missing. Uh, and as I say, seven episodes missing in total. Um, and that's the summary of Give Us a Clue. Hopefully that's been useful to you. Um, it's an absolutely fantastic box. I know a lot of people have said, oh, are they going to release a Michael Parkinson one? There's no plans at the moment, Network has said. But I guess that all depends on uh, sales of this one. So if you want it, go and get it. Treat yourselves. That's it from me. Bye for now.